spectacular performance by George Patrick Owen. The Scottish Rockets pushing the ball off the field. He shoots, he deflects it, deflects it, he gets the ball back, he's done. Enough with George already. Boys, are you okay? Introduction on the floor in front of me, weighing a total of 92 pounds, the wrecking balls of peace and quiet, the twin tornadoes of home destruction. Prescott, I need help here. Dylan, Cole, just get up. Anybody hurt? You drive me crazy when you pull these crazy stunts. You could have split your head open and just look at Grandma's table. Mom, get a grip. It's your cute, adorable twin. Yeah. Look at these innocent little puppy dog faces. Well, Rover, it looks like you got your first shiner. You're gonna need some ice on that. I'll get it. You take care of the table. Well, I see you guys liked watching the game again for the 200,000th time. Well, George Patrick Owens is only the greatest soccer player that ever played the game. The last score he took was, he like, he was like 10 feet off the ground. Nobody human can do that. Well, he might not be human, but unlike Bigfoot, we got him on tape. Oh, incredible. Thanks again, Dad. We're back, and we bad. Wait a minute, termitinators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because you don't have concussions doesn't mean you don't have to clean up this mess. I mean, that table there, that's a family heirloom belonging to uh, Grandma. Grandma, of course. So it's yes. very important to your mom. And to me. And it'll be important to you if you don't destroy it. So I want you to pick up every kernel of popcorn. I'll get some paper towels. One or both of us could have been killed. Knock it off. Or at least be bloody and have amnesia. Just get out of here. Can't you control them? They are chips off of that block of yours. I had to show them who was boss around the house. Get real. We tripped and took a header on the heirloom and wasted the thing. By the way, where's the heirloom? Some of Grandma's old leftover furniture that we end up thrashing so Dad has to keep gluing it back to keep Mom off his butt. Seasons next week. Dad's got me running laps. See ya. Too bad he's not on the team. He would kick some butt. His dad wouldn't even let him. He says soccer's for wimps. You know, besides being a cop, he was a big time football star. But he blew out his knee. And he's been mad at the world ever since. Copy that. because we're going to kick everybody's butts this year, especially your team. Our coach says you run so slow you couldn't catch a baby at the low in his pants. Oh, yeah? I guarantee I can even kick your coach's butt. You know what? You got pretty big mouths for such little people. You eat with those mouths, or you just use them to get your butt kicked. And who might you be? This is my cousin Jason from Charlotte. He taught me to play. He plays for the Yellow Jackets. We've been state champs forever. Nobody's ever beaten us. I can't even remember the last time somebody scored on us. Never heard of no yellow jackasses. Yes, you have. They're the one who broke that kid's leg in the game over in Chestnut, and the doctors had to amputate. Well, I bet we can take it all and even beat you fart baby yellow jackets. I bet you. Yeah? What's the bet? I'll call my bookie in Vegas. If you dorks don't win the championship, then you... You don't take it all. I'll moon everybody in homeroom. I mean, we will. What? Better yet, 
There are three teams here. The team that wins the championship is clean. The other teams have to moon the bleachers after the game. Hold up, half a man. If either of us win the championship, then you have to moon the crowd. If you win, then both of our teams will do it. That way we can see the two of you wear your mama's sexy underwear. Better than the skid mark on DZ wear. Shut up, butt faces. You won't even make it to the semifinal, so you might as well sit your mama's butt on the side of a bus. It's on? Did I stutter? Okay, you got yourself a bet, and we got ourselves a ball. You really did it this time, Dill. Give the ball back. What'd you say? I said give it back. It's okay, it's just the ball. It's not just the ball. Our dad got it first in Europe. It's a game ball from the World Cup match. George Patrick Owens kicked this ball right before he, he disappeared. Well, gee, little buddy, it's probably worth something then, huh? We should probably return it. Hey, Mikey, what's up? Hey, Russ. And remember, you gotta drop him. Only a coward wants his on a bet, right? Right. Good thing you showed up, Mikey. Those guys are really starting to piss us off. Yeah, but even if they kicked our butts, I guarantee we would have done some serious damage. <laughs> and we wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? Michael! Michael, what did we agree to do today? To run my laps. That's down. right, son, run laps! Now, that does not mean stopping and talking. Talking does not score touchdowns. Now, I want to see some hustle out there, young man. Move it, move it, hustle! an old shirt, and when did you start worrying about germs? I know. I saw you eat that donut off the ground the other day. The five-second rule. What? If you pick it up within five seconds, it's good to go. Okay. That's totally disgusting. Suit yourself, honey. I'll get it. Guys, I have some bad news. Dad has to go out of town for a few days. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Remember, remember, you work for me, okay? You know, you were still decorating your diapers when I won my first Purple Heart. I know you love that story, but it's true. Listen, I feel bad because I have to leave the kids. Well, I'm sure, that, I'm sure they will be proud of me. It doesn't matter right now. How soon? You've got to be kidding. He feels really bad, but he's gonna miss your first couple of soccer practices. No way! Not now! Right, I understand. I'll see you soon. So, what's the deal, Prescott? Well, I gotta go to D.C. It's an emergency. Yeah, but what about the team? You're our coach, man. What are we supposed to do? Guys, I'm sorry, but somebody needs my help really, really bad. Yeah, but we had a deal. I know, and this is the last time it's ever gonna happen. I'm up for reassignment. But you can't! You're a coach, and practice starts on Monday. It sucks like a tornado. Don't talk like that. Listen, guys, it's only for a few days. Boy, that was quick. Well, that's my cue. I gotta go. I love you guys, and I promise to make it up to you. Listen. Your mom has a roster with the names and the numbers of all the guys who could help coach while I'm gone. That's gonna be okay. I love you guys and I'll be back soon. Hi, honey. Bye. Come on, guys, give me a hug. Get in there. I love you, boys. no idea how important this is to us. Guys, when life offers... If you try that line about life, lemons, and lemonade, I'll... I'll lose it! All right. How about I just promise that we'll do the best that we can? We'll make it work, all right? 
an ugly ending to a beautiful day. Corner kick. Corner kick. Okay. Okay. Oh, boys, we have to hurry. Are you sure you called everyone on the list? Did you forget anybody? Well, let's see. Dexter's dad had to work. Mr. Hunsucker had a furniture convention. Mr. Pope hurt his back again. Mr. Wickham has a big law case. Mr. and Mrs. Folds have to look at real estate. And Mr. Whaley's fishing. Everybody else said no. Look, it's only for a few days. Oh, and I have something for you. It's from New York. Dear loved ones, I need a break from the Big Apple and will be coming to visit. I need the family love and I miss my little monkeys. Much love, Aunt Louise. Aunt Louise is coming back? But it doesn't say when. She never says when. That's probably why Dad calls her a flake. All right, guys. Let's go. We're going to be late. We're going to ride our bikes. See you there. Wait a minute. Uh, I left the lights on again. God. to see you. Hop in. We have to go. Where are we going? Oh, you won't believe it. Did no. you drive here all the way from New York? Yes. I missed you. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Me too. Oh, it's nuts. So now I'm the coach until Prescott gets home. Ooh, any cute single dads? Louise, I'm scared to death, but the kids need me to take over. My babies are riding their bicycles to their first practice because their goofy mom's been forced into coaching and they're too embarrassed to arrive in the same van with me. Mm. <laughs> Can I have your attention? <laughs> May I have your attention, please? Thank you. I'm your coach, Mandy Martin. I thought her coach was a... Mr. Martin. Yeah. You're not a mister. Yeah, misters don't have boobs. <gasps> My husband is your coach, but he had to go away on business for a few days, so I'm going to fill in until he returns. And who is she? She's my little sister. Nothing little about her. If she's little, I'm a T-Rex. You best mind your manners, young man. What does she do? Let's just say, um, she's my assistant. We can't have a bunch of women telling us what to do. We'd be laughed off the field. Yeah. yeah! For your information, I just flew from overseas where I was training Olympic athletes in motion and dance technique. I thought I'd teach you a few training tricks, but everyone has such a snotty attitude. I'll just take my big-hearted talents somewhere where I'm more appreciated. <laughs> oh. But before I leave, I just wanted to say hi to my nephews, Dylan and Cole.
guys, that's it for today. Any questions? <laughs> I'll assume that's a rhetorical question, and if anybody here speaks flagellants and would like to translate... Why don't we not get to play soccer? Oh, a question I can answer. Please pick up your game schedule from Louise as you leave. Don't forget to memorize the AYSO six pillars of character. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, caring, fairness, citizenship. Don't forget, do your homework, eat your vegetables, get plenty of sleep, brush your teeth, and please, make sure your parents read the kids' zone guidelines on the back of the schedule before they tape it to the refrigerator. And remember, when you are out there playing soccer, that field is yours. It's your time, okay? See you next time. Pick up a schedule. Prescott hadn't left. Yeah, on the job training blows, huh? Jeez, Louise. I am trying to not let the boys talk like that. Okay, sorry, Grandma. Should I go wash my mouth out with soap? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm just an overprotective mother who wants to keep an eye on her boys. I'm not a coach, I'm a case study. Uh. Who the heck was that? No, he helped me start the van this morning. I'm gonna ask Prescott about him. Creepy. Louise, you're back. Hey, Miss Martin. Hey, Mikey, where have you been hiding? Oh, <laughs> football season. They're working me pretty hard this year. I thought that was my dad. Uh, I better get home. <sighs> his dad drives him way too hard. Yeah, his dad is a jerk. No, he's just not a very happy guy. It was dad, all right. He's not gonna make it before our first game. Yeah, he skunked us. Okay, guys, you've worked your butts off these last two weeks. Today's payback time. How about a round of applause for Miss Louise for helping whip this organization into shape? Yeah, Louise! Yeah, Louise. Yeah, Louise. Yeah, Louise. Yeah, Louise. Yeah. All right, let's show them what we got. Come on, go, go, go!
see you here on Monday. We play the Roosters. I hear they're pushovers. Cut the crap, coach. They beat the Pirates by 10 points and the Dynamos by 12. We've had it. Thanks for that inspiring pep talk, Sal. See you here Monday. The worst thing that ever happened to soccer is the world's fastest growing youth sport, and I've said it all back 25 years. Don't be mad at yourself, Mom. It's not really you. The whole team stinks. Yeah, you never claimed to be a soccer coach. We knew Dad. I know. Don't be mad at him, please. I'm sure that he's trying to finish up his work and get home to you. Oh, look, messages. Maybe one of them's him. Hey, guys, I know nobody's there, but listen, I had to leave the country for a little while on business. I know I broke my promise, but I won't do it again. Listen, I know soccer's going great. I know you guys are kicking some butt. I love you all, and I'll be there soon. I'm very sorry. You grow up being told not to trust strangers. You can't even trust our own dad. We're going to go clean out the van. Stay here. I'll handle this one. Miss Martin, this is Sterling's mother. I wanted to let you know that Sterling won't be playing on the team anymore. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what kind of team you're running here, but you don't sound like the real thing to me. Sal ain't playing for no team run by some den mothers. If I want him to get his butt whooped, I'd set him off to join the Marines like I did. Hello, this is Eduardo from the team. I was talking to some of the other guys tonight on uh, I don't think I don't to play anymore. Thanks. Bye. And my dad said that when you get a real coach to call us back. It'll be okay. <laughs> I use my Aunt Louise magic. Oh, then go and use your magic and tell them that half the team just quit. I don't blame them. I wouldn't want to play for me either. Oh, please. Look. I'll talk to them when they come in. You go take a hot bath and I'll bring you some tea. Thank you. Front of me. He, he's that man. He saved us. Who? Huh. Okay, let's get you guys inside. They're fine. I think they're just a little shaken. Right. Thank you. We gotta find this Gatamon. Man, we're gonna find. Leave me alone. Can we help you with anything? No. Go away. Thanks for saving our butts. Yeah, we would have been road pizzas. You thank me? Now go away. I just want to talk about those incredible moves. 
Yeah, they were awesome. I've never seen anybody kick like that. You didn't see no kicks. Yes, we did. You did not. Did too. No kicks. Okay, we didn't see any kicks, but whatever you did was really cool. I tripped and fell down. It was an accident. I wish I could have accidents like that. We told all our friends. Why do you tell everybody? Because we love soccer. We didn't start off loving soccer at first. We wanted to play basketball. We were just too short. And baseball, see these glasses? I'm blind as a bat. Once I swung at a hot dog grabber that blew away. But the truth of the matter is, we stunk at it all. Hitting, catching, and football, we weigh about 50 pounds each. We could hang lot in a tortilla chip. But since we are kids, we want him to be like Dad. He played everything in high school and college and was good at it all. He even used to fight jet planes for the Navy. We would never get too close to a Navy jet, but soccer, we did make the soccer team. We're gonna fill up our shelves with trophies just like Dad. What you expect me to do about it? Coming! Hey, Mrs. Martin. Hi, guys. I'm sorry about the team. We tried. Yeah, well, that's life, Mrs. Martin. A terrible two at home? No, I thought they were off with you. They didn't show at the arcade? Mrs. Martin, are they all right in the head? Well, I know they were really upset about the team. Why? Do you think something's wrong? I think they completely lost it. All they talked about in school today was this soccer dude who materialized out of nowhere, kicked a million balls into the van, saved their lives, and then disappeared. What's that expression that your mother uses? Esta loca. So that's how my mom got stuck doing it. And if my dad were here, he'd be the solution. Yeah, but he went out of the country. Out the country, huh? Yeah, and to top it off, we got phone messages from the guys. Everybody bailed. Now we don't even have a team. No team? That's it. So we had to forfeit to the Roosters this week. Yeah, because we didn't have enough players. Oh, and by the way, I'm Dylan. And I'm Cole. Dylan and Cole Martin. I'm, I'm Rudy. Well, since we need a coach, and since you're going to be here for a while... No. Why not? Y'all don't, don't understand. Oh, we understand. You're just too busy being Mr. Greaseball adult guy to come spend some time out with these poor little kids who have a mother for a coach. Yeah, we wouldn't want anybody who can do a bicycle kick four feet off the ground. We're just happy with a mom whose main concern is wiping our noses. Thanks a lot, Mr. Wait. All right. What's the one thing you want to learn? I want to learn how to fake people out. I can't head the ball. All right. Let's go, little partners. All right, little fella. I want you over here. Sonny boy, get over there. All right, bend your knees on the balls of your feet. I'm gonna throw your head, with your head like this, like you're a chicken. You're a chicken. You're a funky, funky chicken. You ready? All right, same volleyball. It's soccer. Let's try. Let's try you. All right. That's right. You're a chicken. There we go. There you go. Imitate your brother. Ready? That's right. I will work on passing now. Where are they? It's getting late. I'll talk to Mikey's dad, the cop. Not in that outfit, I hope. <laughs> he hasn't seen him and says you should keep a better eye on your kids. Oh, spare me. We know how sensitive and compassionate he can be. Ooh. Sorry we're late, Mom. Dylan and Cole Martin, you can't just disappear like that. Where have you been? Well, we found the best soccer player in the world, and he's only four doors down living in Dr. Peter's garage. You should see him. Dr. Peter's garage, huh? What I want to see right now is the two of you in the bathtub. No, not that, please. Mm -hmm. And after.
after you're cleaned up, I want to see you buried in your homework. Well, you know how much we love homework. Then can we clean our room? And we can iron the sheets, too. And then wash the car. And then paint the walls. And then dust the floor. How about shining the silver? And then scrub the tables. And then alphabetize the books. Now, you know what to do. We take this basket over to Mrs. Hubbard's house, even though she calls us out of control little hoodlums. We tell her not to get up, and she wouldn't, because she's a hypochondriac and a sourpuss anyway. You didn't hear that in this house. We shove the meatloaf into the refrigerator, although it's already full. We put the other dish into the oven, but we don't turn it on. We leave the brownies on the counter and be sure to ask her about her swollen ankles, her blood pressure, and her burglar alarm. I am so proud of you boys. <laughs> Must be getting old. Yeah, Rudy. You're losing your memory. That's sad. Why do you like to bug people so much? Because we're good at it. Yes, you are. <sighs> that was better. Whole lot better. Really? No bull? Well, no. But it's getting late. Stay out too long. It's gonna worry your mama. She doesn't care. Actually, she's very thankful. She, she, she sent you some of her home cooking as a thank you present. Been a while since I had home cooking. Mm-hmm. Nothing like a home cooked meal. So you really knew George Patrick Owens, the real Scottish rocket? No way, Jose! Way? He's the best soccer player ever! I always thought he was a bit overrated and kind of strange. Good looking guy, though. And the ladies loved him. If I tell you something, you promise not to tell anybody? We promise. Mustn't tell anybody. He's in danger. He was forced to disappear. Why was he forced to disappear? Well, some criminals try to make him play bad so Scotland would lose a cup to Italy. Why? Sometimes people make big money bets on games. Well, heck. George Patrick, he played the best game of his life beat the tar out of them Italians. Some big time criminals got pretty upset. So mad that they, they tried to kill him. The rocket, he could run. So he hid. How long does he have to hide? And one day, when the coast is clear, George Patrick will come back. But that can take forever. We got his last game on tape. Our dad got it for us. That last play he made. That was the best play he ever made. Yo, Twin Pimple, we must stop eating guys at the game. You were so scared, you had to forfeit. We're all looking forward to the Thanksgiving game, aren't you? I could just see you whooping the moon's rising now. Oh! We're gonna make a comeback. We have a secret weapon! Why don't see him in action, dude? You're peeing your jeans, Snarky! Haven't you guys into enough trouble? Yeah, nobody wants to hear about your stupid phantom soccer player. But you guys, I swear, he's the best! I just promised not to talk about him. But I know you guys can keep secret, right? He knows George Patrick Owens. What? You don't believe me? Dylan? Dylan, do you remember the time that you guys kept on seeing the black bear over by the woods in the golf course? Well, it looked like a bear. It was a St. Bernard. Well, it was big and hairy and Come cool. with me after school, and we will take you to his house. No way he'll freak. I'll believe anything that would allow me to think 
then I wouldn't have to moon the crowd. Come on, you guys. It'll be great. Dylan, don't do this. You heard what he said. Man, count me out. Century now. What do you tell them? Nothing. Well, just a little of it. Do you promise me? Now you can't be trusted. Leave me alone. But uh, they wouldn't believe us. I only wanted to help. But come on, please. Go away. Now get! Get out! Say so, Colster. What are we gonna do? No team? No coach? No skill? And pretty soon, no pants. So you gentlemen want to learn soccer? Rudy! I don't get it. This is a soccer player? The Phantom? Yeah, this is Rudy. Rudy, these are our pals Eduardo and Sal. Hey. How you doing? Dylan? Cole? Anybody home? Hello? Anybody home? Teach it real good. That over yonder is a goal. I want you to dribble and pass the ball. Wait a minute. That's not a goal. That's just a couple of trash cans. Looks like a goal to me. Now go to it. I play football. Kick it, kick it! Why do you call it football? About it. That here. game, you don't ever hardly even use your feet. Dylan! Cool! Over here, come on, Dad! Oh man! I'll show you football. Dylan! No, 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 Dad, gum it. Hey, give me the ball. Whoa, look at that. This here? This is real football. Wow, he's good. Juggling? Trapping? Dribbling? All right, you guys got that? Yeah. Who wants the ball? Me, 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 me. There you go, good kick. All right, how you doing? I don't know if I could ever do that. Then you play goalie. You just be making it. That's the ball. Good pass, pass it again. Snappers, you done good. I got to be going. See you, see you guys. Bye. See you, see you, see you, Eduardo. Watch 
y'all following me for? I ain't the Pied Piper. What the hell is going on here? Hey, Grease Paul, I'm talking to you. What the hell's going on here? I teach him to play football. Football? He means soccer. Soccer? <laughs> well, that figures. Mikey, in the car. You better watch your step, weirdo. I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you. Boys. Don't mind that jerk, Rudy. He's just a local blowhard hiding behind a badge. Mmm. I know the type. <laughs> We're supposed to be at the Purple Daisy at 6 o'clock. Where are those boys? I'm starving. Where have you two been? I was starting to think you were MIA again. All right, you. Let go of them now. Uh, Louise, it's OK, honey, really. Yeah, calm down, Aunt Louise. The biggest crime in this town is when the paper boy throws the paper in the bird bath. This is Rudy. The mysterious soccer player we've been telling you about. Uh, oh, sorry, Rudy. Reflex action. Mom, Rudy, Rudy, Mom. Oh. I mean, Mandy. Uh, it's nice to meet you, Rudy. Um, boys, what was my empty food basket doing at Rudy's house? Well, we got sidetracked, okay? It's a male bonding type thing. Oh, ma'am. I've been uh, seeing the happy looks on their faces all day today, and I was wondering if I could help coach the team. Oh, really? That's good news, isn't it, Louise? Uh, yeah. Okay, the babysitter's gonna be here in five minutes, boys. Go get cleaned up, she's bringing a pizza. <laughs> That was a fantastic meal. Yeah, and thanks for encouraging me to have that hot fudge cake. God, I should just glue two big slices on either butt cheek. Did the boys tell you how Rudy ended up living here? Mm -mm. You know what? If all he ever wears are those awful coveralls, he must have left in a big hurry, or unlike me, he's learned to pack really light. You'd make a great detective. Mm -hmm. I'm just so curious. I mean, Prescott says not to worry and that we can trust him. But I don't know, I just can't help it. Something just doesn't seem right about the whole thing. I know what you mean. It looks like you should be holding up a sign that says, we'll kick soccer balls for food. <laughs> Louise, I don't know. He seems nice enough. And he is incredible with the kids. <sighs> What's that all about? Just spending a little quality time together, I guess. Oh, please. You call punting a million footballs at 9 o'clock at night quality time? Poor Mikey. What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do when they're rushing you? Come on, now. I want that ball going all the way down the field now. Let's go. Kick it. Kick it harder. What are you doing? Wasting my time out here? Look where that ball went. Would you? Now, come on. Kick. That's it. I see all the quitters and the deserters decided to come back. Mm. You should have heard me on the phone with the parents. I should run for public office. Mm. I see the new coach has yet another change of dirty clothes. Someone still needs to take that man shopping.
Same time, same place. Wait. You know, the, the boys ain't too good on their feet, the way you are. I thought maybe you could, you could teach them some movement. They might not like it, but I always thought that you'd make a good teacher. I can't do it like this. I'll be right back. Now that you've all learned to dance, I want you to imagine you can fly. You have wings on your feet. So fly like a bird. Fly. Man, I hope no one saw us. You look like the world's biggest geeks. You got that right, Fart Blossom. Hey, wait a minute. That's my title. Yeah, y'all better recognize I'm going to get these fit takes all night. My brothers Damari and Dejan always say, you learn to dance and the honeys will be jocking. some really good stuff out there today, guys. Real nice going, Dill. I know you're disappointed that we lost, but if you're happy with how much we improved, give me a big cheer! Yeah! yeah! And how about a big round of applause for Rudy? Yeah! yeah! He's mad that we lost. I bet he quit. We're never gonna win. Come on now. Save the drama for your mama. Rudy obviously had to rush off. He'll see you at practice tomorrow. Other teams don't have to practice the day after a game. Well, how bad do you guys want to win? All right, then. We'll see you here tomorrow. Get out of here. <laughs> Dylan, you can stop blaming yourself any minute. I never get it 
great! I always use my hands. It's because of these stupid glasses. I'm gonna go cut my arms off. Well, wait. After you do your homework. I mean, think about it. You can talk, but you can't coach. He can coach, but he can't talk. It's perfect. Well, I guess it's okay until Prescott gets home. You know, if he was here, we wouldn't have to have anybody else. Uh-uh. Don't let me hear another word about that. If Prescott were here, speech. It's been going on since the beginning of time. Okay. Okay. It's not about Prescott. It's about the twins. I mean, thank God Rudy came along. He's like the world's weirdest guardian angel. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Where are those little termites? Until then, your mommy will still have to drop you off at the mall. <laughs> Louise! Whatever. Louise? Louise! Would you please tell the monkey boys breakfast is ready? Oh, hey, Mikey. Come on in. in time for breakfast. You want a bowl of cereal? Thanks anyway, Miss Martin, but I'm not hungry. Would it be all right if I just hung out here a while? Sure. Are you okay? We lost last night, and Dad's on the warpath again. I'll go home once he calms down. Well, why don't you come and see the team play this morning? Big game today. It would mean so much to them. You know how they look up to you. Okay, I'm there. in the newspaper. This is a nice habit, huh? Come on, Mom! Yeah, read it out loud! All right. Terriers fight to a big comeback. Must hang on for one more battle with the top-seeded Roosters to win junior soccer title. New coach, key to success. Whoa, look! There we are! We're on the sports page! <laughs> so, Eduardo, what do you want in your gravestone? Here lies Eduardo, eaten whole by a pack of wild animals. His flesh ripped off his skeleton, and his blood spattered Knock all over. Knock it off, Eduardo. You've seen too many horror films. You know, we got a chance to win, just like they do. We're gonna win. Yeah? When bats fly out my nose? Ready, men? We can do this. Let's kick some butts and take the man. Yeah. yeah.
Unnecessary. Yeah. Unnecessary. Yeah. Unnecessary. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. You all right? You all right? myself. So the word is, you losers got lucky and beat the roosters. Yeah, we didn't want them to look too bad, so we took it easy on them. It's bad enough that Rusty's gonna have to show off his dumper. So you remembered our bet. If I remember correctly, if either us or the roosters win, you guys have to drop them. You can't possibly think you have a chance against us. Can't wait to see the limp balls in your pale butts. This is Bobby, our golden. He eats kids like you for breakfast. Yo, Bobby, I'm gonna give these boneheads something to remember. See you on the field, fools. That is if you make it to the finals. <laughs> Enjoy the shake. Well, greetings, fashion plate. Guess what I've got? Our new schedule. We play the Mudcats in New Bern at whoop, 2 p.m. I got a package here for a Dylan and Cole Martian. <laughs> hey, I guess our fan mail's here. It's probably our soccer contracts. And it's Martin, sir. Well, don't y'all want to see what's in the box? Sign here, please. Thank you. Are you from somewhere? Yeah, you look like that soccer guy from the team. You know, I get that all the time. Hey guys, let's open the package. Nice to have been able to serve you. I wish I could have delivered them myself. Wear with pride. I love you all. Good luck, Prescott. Cheese. We lost the game. Stupid soccer. Man, I hate my life. 
so dumb. I hate all this. To my dad. Spring. I'm so dumb. Dope. No! Dylan, honey, it's all right to be upset. You don't know how hard it is to be a geek. Dylan, enough. We'll be fine. You're wrong. We're already fine. No more lemonade stories. Okay. Let's just chalk this up as an okay ending to a pretty ugly day. Come in. Hi, Mom. Hey. Feeling any better? It was a very nice article about the Terrier heroics. It's a great way to close out the season. Hey, you guys, come on. You've been in here for over 24 hours. Let's go with Aunt Louise and see a movie or something. Sure, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Cool. Check it out. Look. No way. Yeah, way. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy! Rudy, 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 Rudy! Where's the fire? You're him, you're him! What are you talking about? I was looking at the paper, and I was looking at the poster, and Rudy, Rudy, you're him! You're George Patrick Owens! This... This ain't... This ain't... This ain't... That's is not good. If you know, then other people know. Yeah, 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 I'm telling you. When we see him, we're gonna waste him. He's gotta be in this town somewhere. We saw him in the paper. He's around, I'm telling you. How stupid have I gone out in public? We're sorry, George Patrick. No, George Patrick. You can't call me that. Sorry. Rudy, all right? Rudy, 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 don't forget. No, George Patrick. Look, guys, there will be some dangerous men here soon. Yeah, we can go get Mikey's dad. He's a cop. No, 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 guys. You can't tell anyone. Look, I came here to hide. A friend told me about this place. He would have been perfectly safe, but I got lost in this fantasy. And then with you, we snappers on the team, I started to play again. I should have gotten careless. Now I'm in danger. We can help. You can help me only if you promise not to tell anyone. Not like last time, Dylan. Nobody, no one. Do you promise? Promise. Stab me with a freshly sharpened pencil right in the eye. Dip me in boiling oil, I won't breathe a word. Bailey Maya, I'm counting on you. Now go home. But Rudy. Look, guys. One day, George Patrick Holmes, Matt Rudy will come back, and then I'll teach you to perfect everything I know. Now go! I want you to be safe! Go! That's the man, all right. Chief. Book me on the next flight to the States, so I'm gonna handle this one myself. Hey, guys. How was your day? Fine. What did I do with that piece of paper? You know, I don't know if it's the email or the printer, but I can't make heads or tails of this. Can you read this? It's not hard to read, Mom. It says that the Mudcats are disqualified from competition due to a rule violation. The Terriers are now slated to take their place in the first round of the state championship. Oh my gosh against the Yellow Jackets of Charlotte. Dead men. Real Connors. We, we need Rudy. Boys, what's wrong? Guys? I bet those are the bad guys. We'd better get out of here. Is it okay to break a solemn oath if someone's life is in danger? 
What are you talking about? Are you guys in trouble? No. Worse. Rudy. Rudy? Work with us here. We got a plan. Sleep, I'll come out to get you. But no late night trip to the fridge. Why do I look fat in this dress? Well, short notice or not, the boys were so excited. I guess they've been off with Rudy. Should be home any minute. What, the yellow jackets? Well, they're just boys. They can't be all that bad. Listen, I have a few more parents to call, so have him there at quarter till and we leave at eight o'clock sharp. Okay, see you then. Bye bye. Okay, guys. Ready to tear them up tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, sure, Mom. You guys don't seem very excited. You know, it's a big honor to be in the state finals. Well, Rudy's sick. He has laryngitis. Who's that? Oh, you mean laryngitis? Yeah, it's a flu in the throat, and he's throwing up big chunks all over the floor. Hmm. Poor guy. Should I get him something? Mom, this is serious. Oh, no. Not his appendix. Ugh. Poor Dexter. Well, of course he can't play. Yeah. Okay, give him our best. Bye-bye. Oh. Mikey! What are you doing here? I kicked a bad pun at the game, and we lost. My dad's really upset. You have to go home. You really should be there when your dad wakes up. Go home before it gets worse, okay? Okay. No, no, it's nothing. Oh, by the way, when you're in the shower this morning, Rudy said he'd meet us at the game. I drew him a map. What? You can't even find your way to the bathroom at night. Mom, have faith. I've never peed in the kitchen sink. I know what I'm doing. All righty then, let's make like horse poop and hit the road. Where's Louise? Oh, I meant to tell you that she'll be meeting us there, too. Great. What happened to your accent? 
Yeah. Phil Flat Caveman Act. George Patrick Owens. Pleasure to meet you. Wow. So this is the big time, huh? Yeah. Well, I got big time butterflies. You smell something? Hey, look, guys. It's the small time heroes come to get their cans crushed. Yeah, where's your dirtbag coach? <laughs> He's probably in the trash digging for their lunch. <laughs> Rudy will be here any minute. Sure enough, any minute. We have been driving around forever. Where is this place? No, I'm gonna get directions. No, no, no. Directions. We don't need no thinking directions. Cole drew me a wee map, but I can't be there. Keep driving around with close, I can fit it. Okay, guys, when you get out there, I want you to pass and help each other. We're gonna kick butt and stuff. We're just, we're gonna go for it today. I want you to get fired up, okay? We're gonna just, you know, do everything that Rudy taught you. Rudy should be here any minute. He must have had car trouble or something, but believe me, guys, we can do this. We're a team, all right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I know, I know we lost them. You try keeping up with this muscle car. We'll get them, I'm telling you. Excuse me, where are the kids that usually play soccer here? Uh, maybe that way. Yeah, some Memorial way. Park? That way, sure. Yeah. Thanks. And do all that really good stuff that you've been doing lately, you know, everything that Rudy taught you. Let's do it. I want to win. You got that? Now first, intimidate the crap out of them. Use your bodies. Slam them. Slam them hard. Especially the goalie. Take him out, and then all we got to do is run in and score whenever we want to. Now crush the little greetings. Claw the little buggers. Now go. Go. Get out there and crush them. Go. Get him. What's a big deal? So I took a bath. Yeah! Hey, Big Mouth, who's your dentist? Dr. Price, why? Well, you better make an appointment with him, because you're going to be spitting up all your teeth. You know more than I do, unless that's the crap sandwich you ate for breakfast, I smell. And you're dead. You better send your soul to heaven, because your butt is mine. Everyone set, please. On your behooties. We have a very important half of a game to play. And I owe all of you a large explanation. Coach, are you really? Aye. And I was tired of not being me. I felt like a, a wilting plant in need of sunshine. You know, I started off just like you wee lads playing football. Or as you say, soccer. And as I grew, my love for the game grew. And before I knew what happened, all my dreams had come true, and I woke up one day on the Scottish national team playing for the World Cup. Well then, about a year ago, I realized my passion in life, football, was not a game anymore, but a business. 
Certain men demanded I lose the game to make the money. They threatened me. I refused and agreed to testify against them. After I did, a friend convinced the authorities to help me hide out in this country until these, these hooligans could be brought to justice. I learned I could not trust anyone except for my friend. So I came to your town. You guys, you brought back my love for the game. I had to be with you today, even if it meant putting myself in danger. Now you can win. I've been watching the other team. They don't pass when they should. They're just a wee bunch of freaking ram gumptures, skyballs, and blathering agents. But we, we are a team and we'll play as a team. No, spread it out on the field, pass the ball, help your teammates. Pass, pass, pass. We will run this team into the ground. I believe in you guys. I really do. Now let's do it. Now let's do it. Now let's do it. Yeah! yeah! Anybody else who could play goalie? I could be goalie. Mikey, what are you doing here? We hit him in the back of the van, Mom. We accept full responsibility. All right. Let's get our new goalie in the game. No, wait. It's illegal. He's not on the roster. I took care of that months ago, before registration. Well, then, let's do it. All right, yeah. go, Mikey. Yeah. Remember, you're an animal. You're an animal.
to see my family and uh, George Patrick Owens in action. This is the man I was talking about, the man that saved me. No way! Way. I see you've met our Louise. Not so fast, Moon Tweeves. We are bet, remember? No way! You said a bet's a bet. Only a coward watches on a bet. Are you a coward, Rusty? No, no way. way! Then drop him! Drop him! Dylan, maybe we should let him slide. Aside from Eduardo's underpants, I can't imagine anything I'd want to see less. Ugh! Nicole, this is the only time it ever paid for me to speak up. Now drop him! Drop them, drop them, drop them! Hey, look! <laughs> Another ugly ending to a beautiful day. Cop 